Good morning, yogis, yoginis, and everyone in between. This is day three of your morning yoga journey. I'm Kit, and welcome to Yoga with Kit Souther. If you're new here, you can do this video obviously on its own, or you can join the community and do the 30-day yoga journey. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and the description box and <laughs> description box below and it will be there for you to join. So to begin today's class, we're going to start off with the affirmation, I do my best to achieve my goals, right? So let that settle in, take some nice deep breaths with it. I do my best to achieve my goals. Great, so we're gonna start off like we do every practice, an easy pose, cleansing the air, cleansing the body with the mantra Om. Okay, so we're gonna inhale, hands, holding the knees, back straight. We'll do one inhale cycle, exhale, um, just to cleanse everything out, and then we'll begin with the three ohms. We inhale through the nose, and out through the mouth. We begin with our ohm, we inhale, through the nose. I will tell you in the beginning it kind of feels like oh why am I doing these alms it feels kind of silly but I promise doing the alms it really sets the mood it helps you set your attention it helps you get in the mindset of I'm about to better myself okay so let's go ahead and begin in wide leg child's pose so we'll take our knees hip width uh, or a little wider, right? So we can take it to the edges of the mat. Gently go back on the heels and then we're just gonna walk our hands out in front, gently allowing the head to fall forward. If you are congested right now, uh, I highly recommend, and you have peppermint oil, I recommend just putting one or two drops on a piece of paper, uh, toilet paper or a tissue, Kleenex, and just putting that underneath your nose to kind of loosen everything up before we start our practice today. If not, then we just go ahead and relax into this, moving the hips from side to side if you'd like, allowing the body to relax and release. Maybe imagine kind of sinking the chest down and allowing there to be space between the shoulder blades. Let's take one more inhale here. And we exhale through the nose, releasing any tension. Beautiful, we're gonna come up and from here, we're going to do a nice little flow section, right? So our hands will be underneath our shoulders. We're going to put our uh, knees up and we're going to do a modified chaturanga. So we're just going to push our weight forward. We're going to come down, um, excuse me, <laughs> chest to chin. We're going to drop down these back feet. We're going to just gently inhale, taking it to a baby cobra. 
and then we exhale, taking it back down to a child's pose. Right, so we did that slow. This time we're gonna speed it up a little bit. We inhale, exhale, coming down, and inhale, taking it to a little baby cobra, and we exhale, taking it to child's pose, right? So coming back in, taking it down, we inhale, coming up. Really trying to open up the body, warming up everything, taking it down. We inhale. Right, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. Just preparing the body. We're gonna inhale, taking it back up to tabletop position. From here, we're gonna gently open up the side body. We're gonna swing the right leg out parallel, take and push down into this left foot, gently opening up the body. You wanna either have, hi, <laughs> either have the arm parallel or you can nice do a nice little bend, maybe gently gazing up to the ceiling. Really finding length in the side body here, all the way down from the tips of the fingers to the side of the foot, and pushing up the body. Remember, we breathe. And on the next exhale, we gently come down, going back and forth before we move to the other side. Allowing the body to wake up. We take it to the other side, opening up. We inhale, coming up, reaching up into the sky. Allowing the body to release any tension. If you have any issues here, I would just suggest staying in a tabletop position just releasing the body there. We're gonna exhale, coming back down, and begin rocking back and forth. <sighs> Gently gaining momentum. From here, we're gonna float those hips back and take it to downward facing dog. We're gonna have our feet about hip width apart, preparing our downward facing dog, however is most comfortable for you. From here, let's just bend our knees a little and really sink the pelvis up into the sky, right? That's what we're trying to do here. We're not trying to do anything too crazy. We're just here to enjoy this position, the sasana, right? Send up. From here, we're gonna plant down that left foot. Send the right foot up. Taking it all the way through to the hands, dropping it down, taking it into Pigeon Pose. If you're comfortable here, then you can just stay here. If not, you can sink down if you want to. This is comfortable for you. If not, staying up here is also great. However you're feeling this morning. Let's take two more breaths here. Really focusing on the breathing. We inhale. Allowing any tension that we have in the lower body to be released. And on the exhale, we're gonna curl those back toes, push away from the mat, engage those abs, take it on back to downward facing dog. We're gonna be here for two breaths. Remember, going at your own pace, doing what makes you comfortable, right? Listening to your body and where you are this morning in your practice is always the best, okay? We're gonna lift up that left foot, 
and like we did the other side, bring it all the way through, place it down, taking it into pigeon pose, right? Noticing the difference between one side and the other. If you're like me, they're going to be quite different, <laughs> right? So, and that is perfectly okay. Making sure that we're focusing on our hip placement and our alignment in this pose, right? Just if you want, you can gently move down, you can gently glide down, right? Staying in the sasana in whatever modification you would like. If you're noticing that you have a lot of space uh, in between your groin area and the mat, you can also always use a cushion or a block or something underneath there to help uh, support you. Let's take one more breath here. We inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to tuck those back toes, coming up, engaging the abs, just like the other side, taking it to downward facing dog. Really releasing, letting it all out. Moving from side to side. From here, we're going to lift up that right leg, placing the left down. We inhale. And on the exhale, we bring it all the way forward, dropping down that back knee, taking it into a low lunge. And then we're going to place both hands on the inside of the right foot. Really just allowing the body to sink into this asana, right? Asana means pose in Sanskrit. Just making sure that we stay conscious of our movements. We inhale. And exhale. You guys are doing great. Fantastic. From here, we're going to tuck those back toes, pivoting the body, rotating, coming up, and taking it down to the other side. Right? So just like we did the other side, we're going to have that back foot, top of the foot on the mat. Right, staying strong. If you want to have blocks here, you can. If you want to go for a deeper stretch, you can go on your forearms. Whatever is most comfortable for you and where you are again today in your practice. Fantastic. We tuck the back toe. We take our left foot back to meet the right, dropping down to the knees and gently coming down to the chest. And then slowly swaying from side to side, opening up the body. Whenever you're ready, gently coming up, coming to a seated position. Thank you so much for sharing your morning with me. I hope that you enjoyed this practice for your day three of your morning yoga journey. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling me how this practice was for you this morning. Uh, if there's any information that you need, it will all be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste. Ciao. <laughs>